Hey there. We're going to talk about VADO Tube Mini. This is an app that really helps with being a PNG tuber, meaning that you've got images or GIFs, um, and that's kind of like what you use as a streamer. This program helps you manage the idle and talking or the closed mouth and open mouth images of your character. As you can see, when I'm not talking, the closed mouth image shows. And there's no microphone volume sensitivity when there is no input over here. My character doesn't speak, but when there is, it's playing the open mouth image. There are also slots for the blinking versions of these images. Since I don't really blink, I'm an alien, I made it so that I kind of look away sometimes. That's where the blinking can be really creative. You don't have to make it so that your character blinks. Maybe they look away. Maybe they breathe. Maybe they fidget. The blinking image plays occasionally. You also have motions. These might play as a transition between speaking. When I'm speaking, I jump. Otherwise, there are motions so that maybe my character, when static, might be bouncy. There are a variety of these, and you can go through them later. Um, they can be a bit distracting. There are also states on the right side. This is the most fun part of VA DoTube Mini. We can make it so that my character can dance. We also have this gaming version, but as you can see, it really helps to have a, the character the exact same size, the exact same colors, because the transition might be a bit noticeable as I switch through. If I'm not the same size, you can see it's not as effective. So you want to be careful to make sure that all of your images are manicured. They're all the same size and all the same colors. We can also turn on hotkeys for each of these. So if I want to dance uh, and turn that on, we can make it so that I set a hotkey for this state, state number two here. So I turn on hotkey mode, boop, hit numpad number one, and I'll go into that state. Same with this one. I will make it so that I can go back here. Now I turn on hotkey mode so that it's receptive to my inputs. So even if I go off of this screen and I don't see these panels anymore, because if I hover off the screen, no more, but I can still use the hotkeys. Ta-da. State zero. You just need to be careful to set different hotkeys on your num on your keypad um, for each of the states, of course. Make sure that each of your images is the same size, otherwise you'll be sad like me. And of course, once we have everything all set up, we can save this whole setup as a video tube mini file at the bottom over here. Uh, we can also open existing files as well. When you use this source in OBS, you want to make sure, of course, that we put a filter on it so that there's a chroma key and our character can sit on top of any parts or behind any parts. But of course, make sure your design doesn't have any green in it because, uh, as you can see on my ship, uh, I've, uh, I had to chroma key that out and so that part disappears. If your character has uh, green bits like me, you do have the ability to cycle through a few different background colors, but they are predetermined. We have blue, we have pink, um, <laughs> and we have a transparent one apparently, but that's the same color as my skin in this case, uh, as well as the green. So it, it takes a bit of experimentation um, to make sure that you have a background color that will be chroma keyed out. Just like that, we have a character that we can use to express emotions and pretty much do anything we'd like, thanks to 
Tessa Mack from griffinmore.com. Check out our other tutorials uh, as well. Welcome to the Griffin.